Each week, Catherine goes out on the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, and brings it back here in a segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And uh, where do I want to begin? And I think let's let's just start with the random blah blah blah. They're, they're, they're really is that a technical term? Yes, that's a tech. Ran- random blah blah blah. Because th- there really is no. How do you spell that? Um, and it's Florida, so you know we're, we're off to a roaring, awesome, a, a leaping, roaring, jumping fuck of a start. Um, John Carter esque start, you could say, because people should see that movie because it's really good, and Lynn Collins should totally play Wonder Woman. Just saying. Man sporting cowboy boots, no pants, popped in PSL. A man wearing cowboy boots, but no pants, was arrested after witnesses said he was fiddling with the door of a Southwest Bayshore Boulevard business. Port St. Lucie police uh, encountered Sean Awar Bacchus. What a name. Uh, After being dispatched to report of a man with his pants around his ankles trying to enter a closed business. Okay, so he was wearing, that's false headlining. He was wearing pants, just not properly. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, let's nitpick this. As guy. a journalist, your job is not to fucking lie. Your job is to report <laughs> the facts. Don't tell me he's not wearing pants when he's wearing pants just around his ankles. That's not. That's some Fox News bullshit right there. Uh, uh <laughs> point. Okay. Um. I, I love that. I love that the the, the 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 guy who wrote this article, Will Greenley, just keeps going. Often worn by cowboys, cowboy boots are not to be confused with the cowboy junkies, a folk pop band that toured Toronto, or the naked cowboy, a popular figure in Times Square. Meanwhile, what? I don't know. What the fuck is that paragraph even doing there? Ah. Uh? But again, but the actual story gets worse. Meanwhile, the officer asked Bacchus to put on his pants. As he did, I saw he had urinated himself. Bacchus said he consumed alcohol, alcohol earlier and had been at <laughs> Mumble's Bar. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get this straight. Bacchus had consumed alcohol. Mm. What a motherfucking shock. For the mythology nerds out there, I'm trying to fit. Is this irony? I can't. I don't Bacchus, know anymore. It's the Roman name for the Greek god Dionysus, who is the god of wine and like debauchery. Is this so? A guy named Bacchus being drunk and you know half naked walking around in public surprises me none. He's just living up to his name. So okay, he could be a god for all we know, <laughs> except that he looks va- vaguely Native American. He could totally be a Greek god for all we know. I, I'm just, I'm asking, is this irony? Because we fucked up the definition so much, I don't know anymore. God damn you, Alanis. I, I don't know. No, is well, irony <clears throat> is when the actual outcome differs from the intellectually expected outcome. And I absolutely expect a guy named Bacchus to be walking around pantsless and drunk. Yeah, okay. I'll, it may. I'll take your word on it, because we've, we've ruined... Okay, people in the channel are saying it's synchronicity, not irony. Okay, yes. I'll, I'll go, yeah, it's... If he was named, like, Artemis, because she's a virgin goddess, that would be ironic. Okay. All right. So, okay, thank you, because I don't know any... We've ruined the word! Anyway. Okay. We have much more. Much, much more. So, um... Have you had any friends who are under 18 ever? You know, you, you were older than 18, and they were under 18, but, you know, you were still friends. Yeah, because I work retail. Okay, and and there are there are certain <coughs> walls that must be put in place there. Just just in the basics of you know alcohol and and and. Well, you know. yeah, like you, you 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 don't really go out and hang out with your under eighteen friends a lot. Yeah, well, that's weird. This is uh, this is kind of um, how <coughs> not to have uh. How not to have underage friends. Spencer Mann accused of getting teen drunk, tattooing him. 22-year-old man has been charged with illegally (coughs) tattooing a local teen 
after allegedly giving the boy alcohol. According to court documents, George A. Doyle began harassing the 16-year-old on Monday, looking for payments weeks after he allegedly etched the word juggalo along the boy's rib cage. And well, there's your problem. <laughs> The word the oh juggalos, there is your problem. Uh police became aware of the situation after a school investigator le- learned of the alleged threatening text messages and and alerted them. Uh the teen told investigators that Mr. Doyle and another man wanted to fight him and were sending text messages indicating that. There were also references to the teen stealing iPhones as payment. So here's what happened. He got a sixteen year old drunk. He tattooed him. He demanded payment for this service. <clears throat> and then when he did not get payment, he began to attempt to extort said payment in such a way that there was a paper trail. Mike Mike has pointed something interesting out. Um, in the article, Juggalo is misspelled. <laughs> Does that mean the tattoo is misspelled? Because it's spelled right, the, it's spelled wrong twice and then right later. So, is the tattoo misspelled or does this journalist and editor, copy editor too, suck? I'm, if the tattoo is misspelled, that's, okay, number one, who is going to be the grammar Nazi on this one? Who among the Juggalos is going to go, hey man, you spell that shit wrong. Yeah. I don't exactly see them as the kind who are are using the spell check a whole bunch. Fucking alphabets, how do they work? (laughs) But seriously, alright. Fucking Juggalos, man. I'm not sure about everything. We don't gotta worry about terrorism. We don't gotta worry about the fucking Mayan calendar. We gotta worry about two things in this world. We gotta worry about Snooky's knocked up. And we got to worry about juggalos because those are going to be the downfall of Western society. I, am I wrong, or is it just like every, uh, pretty much every state in America, it's illegal to 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 give someone a tattoo if they're under the age of eighteen? Am, am I wrong? I think so. Yeah, I think that's I, pretty I much. Don't go around thing. tattooing minors a lot, so I'm not sure. So yeah, if you do tattoo a minor and you d- decide to demand payment. Wouldn't you do so in such a way as the cops could not say, um, what the fuck, man? Well, let's break down this criminal mastermind's activity. <laughs> First, he got the 16-year-old drunk and gave him a juggalo tattoo. <laughs> so I'm going to go with he's probably not a Bond villain. Not a Bond villain, no. So... No. You know, I'm I'm thinking this is probably pretty much expected from his level of criminal mastery. Phase one, tattoo teen. Phase two, phase three, profit. Oh god. Um, it was a rain Wednesday in Western Court. Charges of illegal tattooing, assault and battery with a dangerous weapon, the tattoo needle. That is some a criminal really is becoming a weekly feature here. I know. <laughs> should I start? Should we have like the how to be a better criminal tip of the week at this point? Like, do I have to start doing illegal shit just to prove I can? I... Maybe. I don't know. Demonstration. I money. Maybe I'll start robbing drive throughs Okay. Well, uh, we, let's move on from one popular culture evil. <laughs> To, to another um domestic violence it's not funny but god damn is this one weird girlfriend attacked me with justin bieber doll oh honey you should not ever put that in writing let alone in a police report that is more emasculation than any man should have to suffer on paper Officer Michael Nunez Jr. arrested in beating of girlfriend. Police officer. A Denver police officer arrested in the beating of his girlfriend claimed that she attacked him with a Justin Bieber doll. 
He said his girlfriend hurled a Barbie-sized Justin Bieber doll at him, injuring his foot. He also accused his girlfriend of kicking him, biting his finger, and choking him. Stated that his girlfriend had thrown the Barbie doll at him, which bruised his foot, and said that it hurt. Aww, poodle. So apparently that was his justification for attacking her. Apparently nothing serious. Let's see, any any serious? No, she wasn't seriously injured, thank God. But, okay, motherfucker, what the fuck is wrong with you? I mean, god damn. Is it different if she throws a Chris Brown doll at you? Oh. Is that like waving the red in front of the bowl? Oh. Or slapping you with a glove? Do they like, make- is that throwing down the gauntlet? Do they make those? Do they, do they make... Maybe voodoo dolls. Maybe voodoo dolls. But... I... There is. Some- yeah, I'm sorry, Poodle. Your girlfriend threw a Justin Bieber doll at you. Aw, yeah, you should totally beat the crap out of her, officer. Fuck that guy. Actually, this no, no. Goddamn cop. Deserve it. This man's a cop. Cops think well. Not all cops, but there are cops who you know think that they can get away with shit because they're cops. Apparently he thought he'd get away with shit because, dude, she threw a Justin Bieber doll. That's not a defense against... A- okay. At this point, you would have been better off just saying, I went into a blind rage, or just something like that. Because when you say, she threw a Justin Bieber doll at me. You're really better off saying, I got so angry that she spent money on a Justin Bieber doll that I couldn't control myself. Maybe. But just, it... I... Asshole. Asshole! How do you just it? That is not a justification for anything. It's a fucking just it. Just, ah! I'm so angry. angry. I'm angry. I hate this guy. Well, yes. I mean, what's to like? I hate this guy. You go to hell, this guy. Girlfriend accused nu- Nuanez of pulling her hair out and punching her in the ribs, kicked in the locked door of a bathroom where she had taken refuge, and then hit her over the head and back with part of the broken door. Yeah, that's totally a proportionate response. It's Justin Bieber doll, to obviously. To your fucking Justin Bieber doll at you. Obviously, Justin. Fuck you. Fuck this guy. I want to move on. I hope that... I, I hope that he gets a cellmate in prison who is just the biggest, gayest Bieber fan on the cell block. And he doesn't cell- even need to be gay. He's covered just, in Bieber posters. He doesn't even need to be gay. It just needs has to, to listen be- to his giant bodybuilding gay roommate squeal like a little girl well, about just day in, day out. Doesn't need to be gay. Get gay or straight. Just be gigantic and love Justin Bieber. That's all. Gay the or straight. Odds, that does kind of up the odds that said cellmate will be gay. I'm not, I'm not wishing, you know, prison rape on him. I'm just saying. Let's move on. I really hope he has a giant, terrifying roommate that happens to really love the beams. Let's beams. move on before we get into some real trouble here, okay? All right, let's see here. Um, oh, well, now let's bring in God. As if I wasn't... <laughs> As if I wasn't in enough trouble already tonight. <laughs> yeah, let's let's cut this off before we get into real trouble. Let's talk about religion. Let's bring in God. Because no harm can come of that. Man <laughs> says higher authority instructed him to trespass. Fort Walton Beach, again, Florida. Man accused of trespassing says he was merely following orders from a higher authority. Uh, Fort Walton police were called by a woman who said a man had broken into her house. She said she was, uh, she was outside. Another member of the household came out to tell her a man had crawled through a window in their Florida room. She said the man was a former acquaintance and that he had not invited her to, ent- and he was not invited to enter her home. When she asked him what was going on in her house, the man replied he'd been told by God to come there. Then he left. Well, God didn't say to stay there, apparently. So when it's, it's been my experience that when God tells you to do something, it's big shit. You know? Well, not 
always. God can tell you to do little things. Yeah, yeah, but you know, if 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 God is taking time out of of being God to stop and say, "Hey, dude, what's up?" It's normally to you know hear these commandments, or uh, you know lead my people out of Egypt, or uh, you know big shit, world changing shit. Not okay, dude. Here's what I want you to do: um, go to this lady's house and crawl in the window, and then you're good. You know, that, that's normally been, been my take on it. So maybe, maybe something terrible was going to happen to her, except that he broke into her house and distracted her. Like maybe she was going to drop the iron in the bathtub and get electrocuted and die. Or maybe like she was going to leave the gas on and her house was going to blow up. Or something had he not broken in and distracted her from whatever she was doing maybe maybe god wanted her to save him to save that woman's life because so, she's gonna cure cancer so you're saying god was pulling a quantum leap kind of well no because quantum leap is all about putting white um white. yeah like fixing things past tense where this is preventing something which is i mean when the words come out of your mouth that God told me to, do you at least have the, the, the decency to, just for five seconds, say, yeah, I know, this this sounds a little strange, but but I totally promise. Or are you the kind of guy who's going, dude, God said do this, so I did it. So I got in the wind. I don't understand. You know? We've heard worse excuses. We have. We have. I mean, we've heard. I mean, we've heard we commit random acts of arson to get away from our children. Yeah. We've heard I am God, but the taser worked on me for reasons I will not divulge. You know, we've heard worse excuses. I, I and I'm just saying, it's possible God told him to do. That. Maybe God wanted to get him out of his house. For some reason. Maybe he's a fucking agoraphobic shut-in. And the only thing that was going to get him out the front door was a mission from God. I just, you know, I, I think the first thing, if I ever heard God telling me to go break into someone's house, the first thing I'd be doing is I would be pulling a real genius and checking my teeth for transmitters, is all I'm saying. You know, that'd be, I'd be like, oh, what the fuck, somebody's fucking talking to me. Because he told me to break in his girl's house, and he told me to stop masturbating. So I'm thinking, you know... So... Speaking of covenants with the Lord... Um, Mary! Oh yes, we've also heard someone from Florida claim that they're a citizen of heaven, so they don't have to pay taxes. This is true. This is true. Um, we, uh... We... We, we, we have, uh... Marriage is supposed to be a sacred covenant. Marriage. That dream within a dream. But, uh, and normally, not always, but normally the process is, you know, it's between you and someone else, not you and a bunch of someone else's. But in the, uh, nor, uh, mostly people with the bigamy try to keep it on the down low. So, um, probably shouldn't post <coughs> your second wedding pictures to Facebook. Yeah. A corrections officer from this is from Seattle. A corrections officer is facing bigamy charges. Again, people who should know better. After authorities said a Washington woman using Facebook discovered that she and a potential friend married to him at the same time. According to charging documents filed Thursday, Alan L. O'Neill married a woman in 2001 moved out in 2009, changed his name, and remarried without divorcing her. The first wife noticed O'Neill had moved on to another woman when her Facebook suggested the friendship connection to wife number two under the People You May Know feature. Wife number one went to wife number two's page and saw a picture of her and her husband with a wedding cake. Dude. I mean, it's not as dumb as if he was, like, still maintaining relationships with both of them, but... Still pretty dumb! 
you really ought to get divorced from the first wife before you marry the second, like... Or at least, for love of fuck, don't put it on Facebook! It's the goddamn internet! It's... It, 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 it. Here's a thing, and you've mentioned this before, the kids of tomorrow... Do not screwed. Yeah, they don't appreciate this because all this crazy, ridiculous bullshit they put on their Facebooks is it does never goes away. It's there forever. Like, how the fuck are we going to elect a president in the year like 2035? Oh, God. When, like, <laughs> our choices are going to be like the chick with the naked duck face pictures on the internet. Or, like, the guy who pirated music under the name, like, Happy Slappy. You're like, where are we going to be when our choices for who's going to run the free world are people who were raised in the internet age and don't understand that this shit never goes away? I, no, I mean, because the worst we've had so far is we had, like, George Bush in a cheerleading outfit from Yale and shit. I mean, you know, that, that was like, oh, God. This is going to be like people, like a guy in a woman's cheerleading outfit from like, you know, the Knicks or some shit. And he's going to want to be president and he's going to put maybe 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 what we, you know, maybe what this country really needs is our first cross dressing president. It would take care of that gay marriage thing right fucking quick, wouldn't it? It and, you know, if it was good enough for the FBI, it's good enough for the executive branch. I think it's time. Oh, Hoover, you're the, the historical footnote that keeps on giving. Uh, we kind of strayed from the story. A little. Just, you know what? It, you can't, this, it's bad enough when you're like, when assholes try to juggle like two girlfriends or two boyfriends or shit. And they do this. At least there's no legal binding contract there. Yeah. This is the shit. You know what she's going to get? Half. She getting half. Well, interesting question. If both of them divorce him, do they each just get a quarter? No, no. If both of them divorce them, he gets nothing. Well, because God, at this point, you know. Oh, they want you and me to run for president. That's a bad idea. Very bad idea. Very, very bad idea. Because you would, I, I would. It, you would just, you would hit the big shiny button and send the nukes on like day two. Yes. Yes, I would. Like day two, somebody would piss you off and you'd be like, fuck everybody, lost the nukes. <laughs> you say and this I'd Hitler running, shit. And I'd be running down the fucking hall and be like, no, right before we all got blown to hell. Have you seen this Hitler shit in Bangkok? Nuke them. Yeah. Done with this shit. I'd have to have my Secret Service Army of Attack hippos watching you 24-7 to make sure you didn't blow the whole world up. And then, you know, there'd be, like, some fucking congressional investigation over my Secret Service Army of cyborg attack hippos, and it would just, you know, yeah, it's a bad idea. Yeah. Congress doesn't like that kind of thing. Mm. All right, um, back in our wheelhouse. God, why is this our wheelhouse? I hate that this, this is, this should be no one's wheelhouse. Why is this our wheelhouse, Tara? Because you know what I'm about to say, don't you? You're about to say Naked Rampage of some sort? Yeah! God damn it! Every... Why is every... Fuck... Is it this hard to keep your goddamn clothes on? Is it this hard to keep your goddamn clothes on? Well... It is for some people. Naked man arrested in church burglary okay maybe you don't rob churches naked no okay i, I want to point out for some journalists. i mean don't rob churches at all i know the church is kind of corrupt and they have lots of money but you know I, I and if you're going to wear work clothes i want to point out for some journalism fun with this article um it starts off debbie baker wrote this article and oh bless her heart a nearly naked man. They're like, wait a second, he's not naked. But, oh no, wearing a white cloth over his head 
and a purple scarf around his waist with his genitals exposed. Oh, well, that's actually quite respectful because it used to be that women had to have their heads covered in churches. <laughs> women weren't allowed to enter a church without their head covered, so, you know. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no shirt, no shoes, no pants, no problem. Um... Uh, okay, I uh, was arrested Wednesday on suspicion of burglarizing an allied gardens church. Purple scarf around his waist. In the crucifixion story, they totally put like a purple cloak on oh, Jesus God. while they're mocking him with the crown of th This guy totally had like a Jesus thing going yes, on. Yes, he did. Imitation oh, crown, no. purple sash. Yeah. Baker ran from officers after being spotted and scaled a six-foot chain-link fence. Um, which, goddamn, have you ever tried to cl climb a chain-link fence with your clothes on? Yes. Now try to do that with all your fiddly bits exposed. No. Don't, not, owie! That's... I mean, my, my fiddly bits be a lot tougher to get caught in a chain link fence but still no no um he was booked on bur uh he he said a uh, a white pickup loaded with electronics musical instruments and other items taken from the church was found parked on a nearby street so not only had he broken into the church dressed like this or not dressed as the case may be <laughs> He then, accessorized. Accessor he then proceeded to take everything that was not nailed down, it would seem. Well, obviously that fed into his whole Jesus complex, <sighs> because Jesus had to carry the cross up the mountain. I love how you're, you're rational. You just... <laughs> So I told you I could make some fucking connections, didn't You're I? Didn't I promise? This shit. You're running. Didn't with I this. promise you crazy connections? I deliver on my promises. You've discovered the secret of the black oil. I swear. I just so obviously with this. he had to carry really heavy things in a procession. In you know his interpretation of Jesus's walk to his death. Yeah, a crucifix, a Casio. It's all the same thing. You know, mm. it's, it's all the you know. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, eh. No, not Jesus Christ. God, worse phrasing. God damn, what was I... Uh. Maybe not God damn either. Nah, maybe not... Ah, fuck! There Find a new swear! Find a new swear! Mother push bucket! There we go, alright. There you go. And finally tonight... Oh, these assholes. Okay, we, we, we've all had someone close to us pass away. We all have... Different ways of paying respects to those who are deceased. Um, but normally we do so within the confines of a funeral home or spreading of ashes or, you know, something like that in a designated area of some sort. Jettison someone out into space with bagpipes playing. They actually did that to Roddenberry. They actually did that. He was... They, they shot him into space. I know. Actually. This, however, this is, um, and just take a long, hard look at these two because, oh, they are, they are exceptional people. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put them on the big screen because they're just that, that special. Oh, they are handsome devils, they those two. They are. Inspired by Weekend at Bernie's, two Denver men sentenced in corpse case. Oh, dear. Two men who admitted to driving around Denver with their dead <laughs> Fred's corpse and then using the dead man's debit card to fund a night at a strip club sentenced on Thursday to probation. <laughs> Robert Young, 43, Mark Rubison, 25, both pled guilty to misdemeanor charges of abusing the corpse of Jeffrey Jarrett. Young also pled guilty to felony... Well, all right, what's your definition of abuse? Like, did they not buy him a lap dance with his own money? <laughs> hey, man, where's the love? Where's the love, man? That That is kind of disrespectful to the dead, you know? You're I mean... 
You're taking huh. the dead man out. You're spending his money. <laughs> Buy him a lap dance. Take yeah. him to the champagne room. It's the least you can do. It's the least you can do. When man. he's dead and you're dragging his corpse around and spending his money on your night out at the strip club, <laughs> the least you can do is give him one more it, rigor, mort rigor mortis boner. No, no, it gets worse. Neither man was accused of killing Jarrett, who died from a lethal combination of drugs and alcohol. Um, but apparently, he died while they were out boozing it up and having fun. <laughs> so it's not like they found him at home and were like, hey, you know what we should do? No. They were just already out and were like, hey, no reason to stop the party just because Jimmy died. Let's do this shit up Irish Wake style. Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Clear out his checking account and give him one last night out on the town. Have him escorted to heaven by strippers. I don't know about it. How but, do you, you know, if they didn't buy him a lap dance, then they suck. <laughs> if my friend died while we were out on the town, I would be a little sad. I would not be like you. Oh, man. I need some boobs now because this is just a downer. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know, maybe they just felt like that was, that was what he would have wanted. <laughs> or maybe they just felt like they're really shitty friends and, you know, they should have half-naked women rumming up against their junk on their friend's, dead friend's dime. You know, what? what's just, what's getting to me is I almost agree with you on the, yeah, they should have given him a lap dance. You almost agree with me? Yeah, if you die, if you die, and some of your sick, twisted friends, like, say, me and Catherine, maybe, or Mike, drag your sorry carcass down to the strip club and spend your money, wouldn't you, from the great beyond, be pissed if we didn't buy you a lap dance? I'd be dead! Yes. And I think my girlfriend might be a little angry about you getting naked people all over my junk. And my dead junk. What if we let her give you the lap dance? Now we're just getting into weird places, man! <laughs> getting into weird places. We're doing a story about guys who drag their friend's corpse to the strip club. We're getting into weird places. We did a story about a guy who robbed a church naked. You're freaking me out here, man. <laughs> that ain't right. I think it's only appropriate way to wake you. Is that ain't no. That ain't, that's, that, that ain't right, man. This is weird. I need an adult. This Drag your naked corpse around, rolled in bath salts, and let all your fans, like, have their way with you to see you off properly. <sighs> so, I'm probably not going to be executor of your estate now, huh? Probably not, no! <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be like a line in my will. Keep Tara the fuck away from my dead body. Don't don't let her near it. Don't let it. No, keep her the fuck away from it. If you're worried about pictures, we can put a giant hippo head on you. Yeah, okay, that's on your yeah. corpse while we drag you around. That that's yeah. That. So what did we learn this week? I saw it from you, weird, and that's not, saying a lot coming from me. No, I'm not weird. You. Don't lie behind hippo. You talk about take my dead naked body, bath salts, and the hippo head. Don't don't do that. I just think, given what you do, it would be a fitting way for your fans to send you off. So, what did we learn this week? <laughs> I think we learned friends don't take dead friends out without buying them lap dances. Sense that it's only right. Code. Why does that make a bizarre kind of sense? It should not. It's awful. It's horrible. And yet, part of me's going, well, that's only fair. You know, because are you. Damn straight, it's only fair. <laughs> uh, we've learned. We learned if you're going to do your own personal passion play, you know, they let Jesus wear a loincloth. 
and he didn't steal anything on his way up the hill at Golgotha. And also, fiddly bits plus chain link equals no. You never want to do that. Mm -hmm. Never, ever, ever. Although I'm sure there's a website dedicated just to that, but, you know, if there isn't, there is. You know, I saw a story today on the website you hate that I shall not name that about a guy who, like, ripped out the floor under a urinal, a public urinal, and they found him down there in a fucking snorkel mask, naked, like, just being pissed on by dudes all day. Like, they, they saw a little pair of eyes coming up from under the drain. And and realized that like the floor had been manipulated and stuff, and the, all the plumbing had been changed and, and ripped out. And there was a dude just under there in a fucking snorkel mask, getting off on dudes pissing on him all day. Which is so much worse than the guy who crawled into the porta potty at the yoga thing, because this guy like altered the plumbing to make that happen. <laughs> Think about that next time you pee in a urinal, fellas. <laughs> I did it. I rendered you speechless. I was working so hard. The hell did that come from? <laughs>